Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The 2017 complex number question was question two again. So the complex number Z1 is equal to A plus BI, where I squared is equal to minus one is shown on the Argand diagram below. Write down the value of A and the value of B. Okay, so A is the real part, B is the imaginary part. And I know that because B sits in front of I, with so I denotes the imaginary part. So my real axis is the traditional x-axis. So you've gone over three on your real axis. So A is three. And then we've gone down to minus one I so three minus i is z1. Okay, did you note that I didn't put i in there. i does not go in here. b is the number or the coefficient in front of i. Okay, so a is three, b is minus one. Okay, z2 is equal to minus one plus two i. Plot z2 on the Argand diagram. So minus one on the real axis. So over I come to minus one and, and plus two i, up I come to plus two i. So minus one plus two i, minus one plus two i, and always label them. So that's my z2, minus one plus two i. Okay, so five marks for this, five marks for this. So a nice soft 10 marks. Okay, part three then is, is, is the division. So Z3 is equal to Z1 over Z2. Write Z3 in the form X plus YI, where X and Y is an element of R. Okay, so make sure you write down the complex numbers in the order that they gave you. So Z1 was on the top. So Z1 is three minus I. Z2 is on the bottom. So Z2 is minus one plus two I. Okay, so this is very like the question we did a, a few minutes ago off the 2018 paper. We multiply above and below by the conjugate of the bottom. Okay, so the conjugate of the bottom change the sign of only the imaginary part. So not of the real part that stays as minus one but we change the sign of the imaginary part. And what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So remember our saying, to divide complex numbers, you multiply above and below by the conjugate of the bottom. Okay, and then you go mad multiplying. So it's the same as three by everything in the second bracket. minus i by everything in the second bracket. And then on the bottom, again, split it. So minus one by everything in the second bracket. And go back for the plus two i by everything in the second bracket. Okay, and let's multiply. So three times minus one, gives you minus three. Three times minus two i gives you minus three twos are six i. I'm done with the three. So then minus i by minus one. Okay, so let's do the signs. Minus by minus is a plus one is the only number, i. And then minus i by minus two i. So let's do the signs minus by minus is a plus, two times one here is two. I by I is I squared over minus one by minus one. So minus by minus is a plus, one by one is one. Minus one by minus two I, so minus by minus is a plus again, two ones are two I, so plus two I. Now plus two i by minus one, so plus by minus is a minus, two ones are two. 
and the i. Plus 2i by minus 2i, so plus by minus is a minus. Two twos, 4i by i, i squared. And you'll notice the pattern, there tends to be the i squared on the end, okay? Does the two numbers in the middle cancel? Because that's the whole reason we multiply above and below by the conjugate to get rid of these imaginary numbers. Yes, they do, so you know you're good. Your next job is to sub in the minus ones for the i squareds, okay? i squared is minus one. So you never leave i squareds in a question, you always get rid of them, so that's minus three minus 6i plus 1i plus 2 times minus 1 over 1 minus 4 times minus 1. So that's equal to minus 3 minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5 i's and then plus 2 by minus 1 plus by minus is a minus 2 ones are 2. Then on the bottom I have 1 and then I have minus minus is a plus, four ones are four. Okay, and just a little a trick of the trade. When you sub in the minus one, the net effect is that plus two here changes to minus two. Minus four here changes to plus four. Can you see that? So this I squared changing to minus one just changes the sign of the number. Okay, so watch out for that. That's how you know you've done all your substitution and correction right. Okay, so let's tidy up. So reals to reals. So minus two minus two is minus five minus five i over one and four is five. Okay, so what you do is you split it and put the real part over the five and then you put the imaginary part over the five. So five over five or minus five over five is minus one. Minus five over minus five is minus one i or minus i, whichever you prefer. Okay, so that's in the form x plus y i. And finally, in this question, then it said solve for x. So two z, solve for z. 2z minus 6 times 4 minus 6i is equal to minus 1 plus i times 4 minus i. Okay, so let's let's work this out like we would any other algebra type question. So we have 2z, okay, and then we have minus 6 times 4, 6, 12, 18, 24. And then we have minus by minus there being a plus. And you have 6 sixes, 36i. Okay, so that's on the left, equals. So with minus one by everything in the second bracket, plus i by everything in the second bracket. So let's multiply out these. Minus one by four is minus four. Minus by minus is a plus. Two ones are two i. Plus i by four is plus four i. Plus by minus is a minus. Two ones are two, i by i is i squared. Okay, so I have 2z minus 24 plus 36i equals minus 4. Now plus 2i and plus 4i is plus 6i, and then minus 2 times minus 1. 2z minus 24 plus 36i equals minus 4 plus 6i minus 2 by minus 1 is plus two, okay? So you can see that changing again to the plus two. Okay, so we need to solve for Z, which I see here. So let's bring these two over this side, okay? So you're either adding 24 to both sides, subtracting 36 from both sides if you want to write it down that way. Okay, but either way, you're gonna end up with two Z being equal to minus four plus six I plus two, or of course, just bring over the minus four and it becomes plus 24. And bring over the plus 36 and it becomes minus 36. So 36 I, so whichever way you think about that. So let's tidy up now, reals to reals, imaginaries to imaginaries. So I'm just gonna put a real there, a real there and a real there. I'm gonna add them together 
and then that's an imaginary and that's an imaginary. OK, so that's how I'm going to get my answer. So reals to reals, imaginaries to imaginaries. So minus four, so 24, let's do it that way. 24 and two is 26, minus four is 22. Then let's do my imaginaries. I have minus 36 plus six, so that's minus 30. OK, um, I don't want two Z, I want to solve for Z. So let's divide across by two. Okay, so it's just the same. You just divide each part by two. So they'll cancel. So you're left then with just Z being equal to 22 over two is 11. 30 over two is 15 I. So that's it solved for Z. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our Level 7 in Electronic and Computer Engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the Level 8 in Electronics and Self-Driving Technologies and from there to the Masters. Check out the link below for more information.